C.J. Ward, one month after the Isla Vista killing spree by Elliot Roger, we are hearing more from the parents than ever before. News Channel 3 senior reporter John Palminteri is live in Isla Vista. And John, both the shooter's father and parents of the first three men killed that night are talking this week. There were certainly countless questions after that mass shooting out here in Isla Vista at the end of May. And most of the time, the, the questions were focused on the shooter, Elliot Roger, and his mental condition, the guns he owned, and also the knives involved in the stabbing. But now some of the parents are speaking out for the first time. Two are in Northern California, and one is Peter Roger. He's the father of Elliot Roger in Los Angeles County, and he spoke to ABC's Barbara Walters. Is We didn't see this coming at all. Peter Roger was caught off guard like everyone else in and around the world of his son, Elliot Roger, on May 23rd. That's when Roger went on a fatal stabbing and shooting spree that left six students dead and 13 others injured in Isla Vista. It was a mass murder that shocked the UC Santa Barbara community and raised questions about who, if anyone, saw this tragedy coming. In an ABC 2020 interview with Barbara Walters, Peter Roger opened up about the killings and said he saw no clues that this kind of violence was going to occur. You did not think that Elliot was suicidal or certainly not homicidal. There's no way I thought that this boy could have could a flee. This 137-page detailed manifesto was sent out by Roger just prior to the killings. That sent his family scrambling to get to the 22-year-old and notify law enforcement, but it was too late. Maybe it's too late for our children, but it is not too late for other Americans. In Fremont, California, where the parents of David Wang and George Chen are now speaking out, they tell CBS their sons and a friend, James Hong, wanted to be computer engineers. They were the first victims in the Isla Vista killings, stabbed to death in the apartment where two of the victims lived with Roger. Friends sent the parents a letter telling them the young men had great minds and kind hearts. It's very heartwarming, and we are very proud. That's the exactly young man we want to raise our son to be. The parents say opportunities were missed to prevent these killings. This week, Peter Rogers sent them a letter of apology. He previously had met with Richard Martinez. His son, Chris, was also a victim. For Kelly Wang, she thinks of her son daily, hoping there will never be another killing like this. And we really hope we are the last family have to endure this kind of unspeakable pain. And that ABC interview with Barbara Walters and Peter Roger will be airing on News Channel 3 tomorrow night on 2020. Coming up in News Channel 3 at 6 o'clock, we'll hear more about whether or not any of these parents thought there could have been more done to prevent this kind of mass killing. In Isla Vista, John Palmentary, News Channel 3. All right, John. Well, I